the last years of the 19th century that human affairs were being watched from the timeless worlds of space. No one could have dreamed that we were being scrutinized as someone with a microscope studies creatures that swarm and multiply and drop in water. Few men even considered the possibility of life on other planets. And yet, across the gulf of space, minds immeasurably superior to ours regarded this earth with envious eyes. And slowly and surely, they drew their plans against us. <laughs> Other world creatures will one day venture to our planet to take control of our human mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is because, under the assumption that these life forms have a much superior intellect to our own, and in turn, greater technological advances. In actual fact, theories are that on any planet that could harbour life, the organisms would be no more than bacteria or plant life. The universe is dynamic. The magnitude of space and time is, for some, an opportunity for the discovery of other life. There are millions of solar systems of many different sizes within just one galaxy, and more than 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Taking this into consideration, the likelihood of extraterrestrial life is huge. <coughs> many people claim to have witnessed an alien life on a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Flying saucers, little green men and abductions seem to be a regular occurrence, although no one has been trying to prove it. It began with the ancient Greeks. Many Grecian thinkers believe that due to an infinite universe, there must be an infinite number of inhabitable planets. And this was opposed by Aristotle as a philosophical impossibility. In his novels, Lucian, the, Greek, the ancient Greek writer, described inhabitants of the moon and other celestial bodies as humanoids, but with specific differences, thus creating the first image of little green men. Many earlier ideas of aliens were opposed by religion, but have become more scientifically acceptable. There have been many proposed UFO sightings involving probing, abduction, and encounters of the first, second, and third kind. Many Conspiracy theories also exist surrounding alien life, including the Roswell landing and Area 51. Area 51 contains an airfield whose primary purpose is believed to be the operation and analysis of enemy aircraft and weapon systems, their secret development and testing of new military aircraft, its secretive nature and undoubted connection to classified aircraft research, together with reports of unusual phenomena have led Area 51 to become a focus of modern UFO and Some of the unconventional activities claimed to be underway at Area 51 include the storage, examination and reverse engineering of crashed alien spacecraft, including materials supposedly recovered at Roswell, the study of their occupants, living and dead, and the manufacture of aircraft based on alien technology, meetings or joint undertakings of extraterrestrials, the development of exotic energy weapons for SDI applications or otherwise, or means of weather, weather control, the development of time travel technology, and activities related to a supposed shadowy one world government. Static or search for extraterrestrial intelligence is a collective name for a number of organised efforts to detect intelligent aliens. It started in 1960 and uses large radio telescopes to put signals from outer space and have yet found nothing. Examples of alien spacecraft. <laughs> <laughs> there have not yet been considered what we would suppose these alien spacecraft would look like. Come in a range of different shapes and colors. Thank you for listening. Remember, let the fog be with you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>